Hey, it's Chris Larson. I'm going to show you how to change the background of your VI. Um, you can use a picture, you can use a flat color. Um, it's quite a few options. So first I'm going to show you how to use a custom picture. If you click on the scroll bar, this is kind of hidden. If you click here, you'll get your controls. But if you go to the scroll bar, it's really important, right click on the scroll bar choose properties and then background and there's a few defaults background can be clouds brushed metal diamond plate wood pine or you can use a custom picture and I have one here and downloads so background from my YouTube channel um, just kind of some electric waves something like that so if I hit OK now the background is um, just like it is on my blog. So you can kind of see how that matches. Um, it'll tile. Um, it won't scale. So if you make your picture a certain resolution, um, then that's the resolution it will be. Uh, but you can kind of put cool textures on the background. Now the other thing you can do, if you don't want to um, have a picture, you can just change the color. So I'm going to choose none and then go to view tools palette and in the tools palette uh, it's right now it's on uh, automatic tool selection but I can pick a color and I'm going to choose this blue and I guess I gotta make sure the bottom one's blue then there the background changes to pretty much any color I want it to be um, whoa, that's kind of bright. Let's go back to gray. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how you change the color uh, and the, the background image. So again, right click. Um, oh, we gotta go back to the tools palette. Go to auto tool. Now I can right click properties, background, uh, change it to clouds or whatever else you want to do. So there, now go ahead, customize your VIs and make your LabVIEW projects look awesome.